Wow, this is a loser's round one match? Does he actually play Guile? He does. This matchup is not easy for Ken. Sarah Blast versus Knuckle Doodang. I'm surprised. Uh, I don't know. He's been playing so many other characters that aren't Guile since this season where Guile got a little nerfed, so... But this matchup has always been tough for Ken, so I don't know if that was plus, yeah. It's hard to make the knee plus, but against a four frame character, it's a little easier to at least like try to make it plus one and then get a down jab. Even if it's plus one against a three frame character, they can challenge. Did James Chan just say wave check? Well, I'm going to take a drink of my coffee. Let's let this match play out. Nice block. That was a good punish. That's just about the best you can do because Guile has to crouch. And then uh, stand up to block the overhead so you get jab EX. Sweep activate. That's not going to hit. Yeah. I wonder if the extended hurt box on the mini boom, the baby boom, is smaller than a regular sonic boom. Great buffer. Down strong and an EX Tatsu is really good. In, in particular in this matchup, I think hit confirming an EX Tatsu is important because you get corner carry. Nice. Uppercut. Back throw my dizzy? No, it's probably... Yeah. Yeah. I would have tried it too, just like I would have tried to thank SXKTV. Thanks very much for dropping the 14 months. Is Street Fighter harder than MK execution wise? They both have some stuff that's hard and some stuff that's easy. Depends on the character. Nice confirm. You get screen space against Ken, and that's a good amount of damage. The problem is you no longer have EX Flash Kick, which I think is a little scary, but for that amount of damage, it's probably not the end of the world. And EX Boom to back him up. EX Boom is great to back Ken up. Oh, I forgot he's playing VT2 in this matchup. That's right. I was thinking about down strong activate, but yeah, this is pretty tough. He could have actually anti aired that. Block it out. I think it, right there you eat the throw 100%. When you block crouching medium punch, you just block the back medium punch after. You don't do anything crazy. That was pretty well played. The get up roll in Mortal Kombat 11 is the hardest execution technique known to man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, VT2. That was a solid buffer. Ken standing medium punch is pretty good. That was a good check on the run. Stand medium punch from Ken. Also counter hit combos off crouching medium punch. And you can combo to heavy Tatsu. It's pretty decent. That and EX Tatsu are really important, especially in a match like this for corner carry. Because Ken really cannot win this matchup unless he gets in and uh, beats up Guile. You're not going to win playing the mid-range. I mean, even in this round so far, it, it doesn't feel like really Sarah Blast has been hit by that much and he's at a life deficit. Yeah, walk back for medium kick from Guile still really good, even with the nerf to the Sobar range. And what, one frame slower? See, that's what you have to do that. That EX Tatsu buffer, awesome. It's really good in this matchup. Good walk back. Important walk back too, because when you get hit by this V reversal, the obvious most immediate option for Ken is going to be throw. So little walk back from Knuckle Dew, down jab punish. He didn't get a combo off of it, but that's that's important to do. Yeah. I think had to commit the full resources. Unfortunately, I don't think down jab EX flash kick would have killed. But a kill is a kill. You, I think it's probably okay to spend that bar. Yeah. 
Are you plus if your viewer reversal hits? Yes. And you're also plus if your lovely Twitch subscriber, Nova Force, comes back with a two month Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. You know, I feel like a lot of this matchup is Knuckle Dew walking back right outside of the range of these buttons and then sticking out the booms and also sticking out the Twitch Prime for Latez. Thanks very much. What up, everybody? Thunder Kick, too far to get anything. Sure, you can. That's a lot of damage. And actually, a lot of dizzy. Back throw dizzies. Damn, this time. Knuckle Dew with a wake up jab. I wonder why I stand medium punch EX Fireball. Maybe that's less pushback than back strong EX Fireball, although I don't imagine. Great jump. Run, uppercut. Noise. Sarah Blast is hard to figure out. Because Sarah Blast is obviously known to be crazy, but Sarah Blast also sometimes just plays like solid. And even when Sarah Blast is crazy, it's not the kind of crazy that's easy to predict. Like, yeah, you always just mash uppercut. It's the kind of crazy where it's like, what the fuck did you do that for? That's the kind of crazy that's really good. And then it's also the kind of crazy where you're like, you blocked on wake up? That's the kind of crazy Sarah Blast is. Are we looking at the food snacks in the background? Yeah, but the, I mean, that round on the topic of crazy, I was just talking generally about Sarah as a player. It was pretty solid. I mean, it was just clean corner pressure. There wasn't anything really unusual about it. The only snack I see is Knuckle, dude. Damn, you got to go to his stream and tell him that. That's a good line. EX Tatsu for the corner carry and push. You just want it every time. That's like, I feel like what the most common thing you're going to spend bar on besides like an EX uppercut in this matchup. Because crouching medium punch into it is really good. Although in this matchup because of VT2, nice, confirm. You don't have crouching medium punch into V trigger one, which just wins rounds. That's the thing about Ken. That just wins rounds. It's one of those things. You have Shinryuken, which is good for... It's a decent anti-fireball move. But it doesn't give you that same kind of explosive power. I wonder if that was a punish. It looked like it. That was great. Not only did he walk in deep to counter hit with that upside down kick, but he got the counter hit combo. Perfect. That was really, really good from Knuckle Dew. Although, back thrown into the corner is a real bad spot to be. I love that Sobot. You know, there, if there's one thing to say about this decision, he knows that Sarah wants to chase. So he walks back, Sobot hits. And now that he's hit this, he's like, okay, Sarah Blast is going to block. So what does Knuckle Dew do? Backs up. He's like, all right, I'm out of there. That was a great jab check. Wow, I cannot believe that side switch. I thought I thought uh, Guile was too low to the ground. Dole high, you know it's buns. Yeah, but there are certain matchups where you have to play it, I think, or you you sh you might maybe should play it. I don't know that you have to play it, but you maybe should. Like this one, this is like one that a lot of Ken players pick Shinryuken in. Nice. I think Knuckles, you realized that he didn't have the frame advantage to set up what he wanted to do with booms. Great knowledge of the matchup. Holy shit, that was good. Knew that the second hit of the standing medium kick, heavy kick round, uh, target combo was going to whiff and just swept it. That was sick. Why has he never tried the Tatsu over the boom? It's not that good. Are you talking about like Jumpy X Tatsu? He's done that a few times, but like Heavy Kick Tatsu or something, it's not that good. Damn, good spacing. Tip into that crouching medium kick. Sobot after is great. His, the thing about Guile is that, and you, the reason you see like a lot of Guile players just stand there and fight with their buttons in mid range is because his neutral buttons are just that good. His, his ground buttons are incredibly good. Some of the best in the game. 
See that back fierce is great. Man, walk up upside down and kick again. Sarah Blast has to keep the corner, so you can't do too much. Oh no. Well, it all worked out. Yeah, even on hit, that standing heavy kick in a run is not plus. Damn. Well, he could have done boom into super for the kill. Or maybe not the kill, but close to it. You son of a bitch. I had a feeling that the only reason Knuckle Dude didn't do Critical Art the first time was to do that again. I fucking knew it. I, in my head, I was like, this guy, Knuckle Dude, is going to do some shit with his Armani jacket. You think you're so fucking cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool.